In this video, you'll learn about data sorting features available to end users at runtime. You'll also see how to manipulate data sorting at design time and in code. To sort data against a column, click this column's header. The grid will sort values in ascending order. The order is indicated by the glyph displayed at the column header's right edge. Click the same column header to reverse the sort order. Note that the sort glyph is now reversed as well. If I click another column header, all previously applied data sorting is cleared. To preserve the existing sort settings and thus sort against multiple columns, hold the Shift key down while clicking. Obviously, sorting by a second column only makes sense when you have repeated values in the first column. If you use the sort ascending or sort descending items in the column header menu, the previously applied data sorting is also preserved. To disable data sorting against a specific column, hold the control key and click this column's header. The same can be accomplished using the clear sorting item in the column header menu. To clear all data sorting conditions, use the clear all sorting item. You can sort grid data at design time using column header context menus or the property grid. Click the project name and priority column headers while holding down the shift key and set their sort order property to ascending. And run the application. Grid data is sorted against the project name and then priority column. Return to design time and clear sort settings of these columns by setting the sort order property to none. To disable end user data sorting against a column, set the column's allow sort option to false. and run the application. Right-click the project name column header to find the sort ascending or sort descending items disabled. Note that you can still sort grid data against other columns. To prevent end user sorting against all columns in a centralized way, select the grid view, expand the options customization property, and disable the allow sort option. And run the application again to see that the grid's data cannot be sorted. Now let's see how to sort grid data in code. Note that this works regardless of the views allow sort and the columns allow sort options. I already have the sort button in the ribbon control. Let's sort data against the project name and priority columns in the button's click event handler. First, obtain the grid column objects to which sorting should be applied. Clear existing sort settings by calling the views clear sorting method. Then use the sort order property required to sort orders. Note that the grid control will resort its data after each statement, three times in our example. To prevent excessive updates, let's use the begin sort and end sort methods. In this case, the grid's data will be resorted only once. Run the application and click the sort button. As a result, grid data is sorted against the project name and then priority columns. Let's return to design time and comment out the code that sorts grid data. Another way to apply sorting to grid columns is to add corresponding items to the view's sort info collection by calling the clear and add range method. This method clears the existing sorting, adds new grid column sort info objects passed as parameters, and only updates the view once so that you don't need the begin sort and end sort methods. Now, run the application again and click the sort button to see the result. 